So, graph unitary inequalities in two variables. We have to remember Mach 10 and the equations of Mach 10. So, in Mach 10, you have to, if you have the slope and y intercept, you can just simply put it into your slope y intercept form, right? And y equals mx plus b. If you have the x and y intercepts, that's an easy way. Basically, that's two points. You can calculate the slope, and you have the y intercept, and you can do the slope y intercept form. If you have any two points, and you don't know the slope, then you have to calculate it. Whether you're using that form, or your point slope form, or the slope formula, okay? In terms of sketching, uh, you need to know at least two points. The more points you know, the better. So if you have the slope, you can have, well, I shouldn't say you need to have two points. You have to have one point and the slope, or at least two points. Because from there, you can figure out the slope. So it says, in the question one, this is the slope of my intersection is x at well. So that means put it in slope y intercept form. So I want you to solve for y here. You can do that right now. Solve for y. You want it to be y. There's your y term and the 2x over, so it's negative 2x plus 12, divide by negative 3, you get in fraction form in decimals. Um, now you know your y intercept, so you plot that. Then there's the slope, you get as many points as you can within the group that's given to you. So up to to the right 3, up to to the right 3, or remember, so here, slope is two thirds. Really, that's also the same as negative two over negative three. Negative two over negative three is not in simplest form, but it has the same action down to to the left three. You can see it joins up. So the straight edge doesn't have to be ruler, but some straight edge. You have a boundary cover on your calculator. Perfect experience to do this. Just a little bit of that one. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Next one, use the x and y intercepts. Yeah. So that's all you need to do. Calculate the x intercepts, calculate the y intercepts. Okay, so x intercept is when y is zero. So three x plus four times zero plus twelve. Really, you don't I don't even mark any of your work, right? If y is zero, bring the twelve over to negative twelve and divide by three. So x equals negative four. Negative twelve divided by three. Okay, y intercept. Is when x is zero. Yeah, you can put it in slope y intercept form, but why bother? You just need this y intercept. You don't need the slope. So that would be 3 times 0 plus 4y plus y equals 0. Again, bring the 12 over to negative 12. Divide by 4. That's going to be negative 2. That leads to 0. zero. So your x intercept is negative 4, and the y intercept is negative 3. You can join them up. You like to add more points if possible. So your slope, whether it's in simplest form or not, 
you're going down two to the right four. I'll just come out and say this four. But do the same, down two to the right four. You can get another point in there. Which makes it easier when we're writing down. Oh, which I didn't do correctly, did I? Down three to the right four. There you go. See, I found my mistake. So here, they don't join up because it's not wrong. So down three to the right four. And try the lower. There it goes. So this is number two. This is number one. So that's just a review. Got to know how to graph the stages of loss. Okay. So let's look at linear inequalities. So, remember inequality zones. That's something like a less than, less than, less than, less than, less than, 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 than. So, the equation of a line can be expressed by the linear equation. If you replace the equal sign with one of those symbols, then a linear inequality is formed. Um, so, it can be expressed in one of these forms. By forms, um, we're just talking about the inequality symbol. We can obviously express them in multiple intercept form, uh, only terms on one side. Okay? What the forms here, the four forms, are those inequality signs. Less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than. So when we do that, obviously when you grab a line, it divides the coordinate plane into two regions. Anything above it and anything below it. Okay? This goes to infinity. So it's really cutting it in half somehow if you think about this. Okay? But it may not look like proportionately a half here, but it is cutting it into two parts. So that's what an inequality is. So it's showing all the points that satisfy in that region. It's not just on the line. So it cuts the plane into regions, one above and one below. For one of the regions, it will be a less than sign. For the other, it will be a greater than sign. The set of points that satisfy the inequality is the solution set or solution region. So you can't miss every set of points. If this, if we're talking about below here, less than, then it would take you an infinite amount of time because of the infinite number of points below that region. Because there's also decimals and fractions and irrational things. Okay? So the solution set is going to be graphed. Let's check out to decide what's above and what's below. So take a look at this graph uh, for y equals 2x minus 3. The point 2, 1. So 2, 1 is right there. Is it on, above, below the line? Well, it's on the line. The point on the line. So, when we verify in our statement, when we put 1 into y, 2 into x, that's an equal sign of the Negative 3, negative 1 is there. Okay. And sometimes things get confused to whether we get the above or below. For that particular x value, negative 3, if we look at where the uh, point with x equals negative 3 is on the line, it's down there. This point is above it. So you're comparing for the same x value, where is the y? It's above. So this, we say it's above the line. Okay, so then check out, if we evaluate this, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 3 is negative 9. So negative 1 is greater than negative 9. By negative 6, it's here. So for the same x value, 
This point is below the line. Okay, so I'm going to check this out. So the x value in this 10 minus 3 is 7. Well, negative 6 is less than 7. So when it was a point above the line, it was a greater than. When it was a point below the line, it was a less than. Or 2, again, it's below. So we're looking at a whole bunch of examples. What kind of leads can you look at? Inductive easy to come up with a conclusion, right? So we're looking at, so 8 times 3 is 5, 2 is less than 5. So basically, from this inductive reasoning, I see that if the point is below the line, we're going to replace this box with a less than. It's going to be y less than. Okay? And it solves in slope. What is in slope in this Okay? Uh, negative 2, negative 7 is on the line. So that means you check that out. It's equal to 0, 0. Is above. So zero is greater than negative three. So we can conclude the double page here. Okay, so use your findings. Please follow. So we're either going to use the equals, the less than, the greater than, with the slope y intercept form. So if the point x y lies on the line, then the statement is y equals mx plus two. If the point x y lies above, so above, that we are placing the box with the greater than, with the greater than. So that's going to be y greater than mx plus b. And below is less than, less than. So it's going to be y less than mx plus b. Okay. So that's, again, this is going to be slope y intercept form. So it's y by itself. So this inequality where it's greater than, it's what y is greater than, that means the y value is bigger than all the other values for, for any x. Um, so that's going to be um, above, and this would be below. Okay. All right, so we're going to graph some of these. Okay. I'll go back to the screen. Okay, so let's just do, we're not going to do all of this. We're going to do the first one. 3x, oh, sorry, 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 6 using the slope and y. So uh, that means we need to solve for y. So 3y, keep your inequality. So bring the x to the right. Remember, you change the sign of the inequality, the direction, and you multiply or divide by negative, but not by moving terms by adding or subtract. So graph the y, 2 from the y intercept. Slope is negative 2, so down 2 to the right 3. Notice how this inequality has the equal sign underneath. It has that little line. That means we have to include the line. So we graph it like we normally would. Okay, and then it's a left side or right side. So you grab the shading below or above. What points are so big? The one below or the ones above? Look at your summary. You can skip. 
Okay, so it's not playing this up too much, so it's why less than or equal to. So what you do is you shade in all the way. So make that line feel the shape. Don't just do a little bit. Split up and then shade all the whole region. Yeah, you just do a dotted line. Yeah. Which means it should be everything close to that line, but not including it. So here, if you're not sure where to shade, then you can always test the point. For example, here, I might test zero, zero. So if I go back in, and it's a good idea to go back into your original, because maybe you made a mistake on this, right? If I put zero in front, so zero in for y, that adds to zero. So zero less than or equal to six, there is. So that region where zero, zero is, is what I'm going to do. So um, okay, and then here, um, okay, let's do this one and I'll leave this for the next one. Um, actually, no, let's do, I'll leave that one, let's do three, because this has a lot of that. So let's say we drop this, we select the line intercepts and a test point. So the x intercept is a y of zero. And so you're looking for all the lines, so you really consider that to be equal sign in your units. So when y is zero, we're looking at x equals four. Y intercept is when x is zero, so that's going to be y equals negative six. Okay. Now, this says less than. So we cannot have any points on the line. So when we graph this, we're going to graph with the dollar line. Okay. Then we have to uh, say so it's a test point. Because I haven't solved for y. So remember when it's less than, so that's when it's y less than. This is not solved for y. So I'm going to use a test point. My favorite one to use is 0, 0. So if I put 0 in for x, 0 in for y, I get 0. And 0 less than 12? Yes. So that means this point is in the region above. So I'm going to change the entire region above. If you don't solve your equation for y, then use a test point to figure out which is going to make you think it's going to be You can convert it. Here, if I solve this for y, get negative 2y less than 23x plus 12. Divide by negative 2 changes the direction of the inequality, and that's going to be 3 over 2x minus 6. So y greater than or changing above. Okay. You're going to do number 2 on your own in a little bit. So it's been sketching an inequality that has to see the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Draw a solid line. And sketch an inequality that has less than or greater than. Draw a dotted. So, 
So writing in Word, in form, you notice the form that you're asked for. So you can do it until finding that form if you need to then rearrange it. And represents that graph. So this is shaded. What you would have seen on your paper. Uh, we want to come up with the equation. So take a look. If, if the y-intercept is a nice number, then I would come up to the three and switch y-intercept form. So choose that. See if there's another nice point. You can even do this. Your x-intercept. Okay, so your slope is so slope here is down to six to the right eight, which reduces to three, negative three fourths. So now y in a little space for my inequality, negative three fourths x plus six. Okay, the sign equal sign that blue line. Take a look where it's shaded. It's shaded below. And it's dotted. So it's going to be a left dot. So I've just answered the question, but I had to put it in the form that it was asked. It says, uh, show the form B plus BY. Now they put less than the which is the and so now we want to put in that form. So what I want to do is multiply it to, to get rid of the fractions. And then remember the x's and y's are on the same side here, constant on the other, but a needs to be positive. So we want to bring this to the left. Make sure it's not making it positive. And that's your inequality. Uh, algebraically, this is negative two four, which looks like it should be in the same region. Algebraically, it should be substituted in. So three times two is negative four plus three times four, which is twelve. So I'm going to change. This is um, this is a different equation. Sorry. Okay, so this one here, I want to test this point. So, um, left side and right side. Okay, so the left side is going to be 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times 4. Keep it separated. Keep it separated, it's not a sum. Yeah, so uh, negative 4 plus 12 is 8. So here, is eight less than or equal to six? No way. Okay. So the left side is not less than or equal to six. And it is not So just make sure you don't make them equal to or less than or equal to or whatever. What's happening? Okay, this was. We're not doing that one. Okay, so let's turn over to the quadratics. Okay. So same. Uh, let me pause on this.